Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to Norway and take a look at one of their Norwegian Arctic field rations. Now this particular one is the chili stew vegetarian. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, and now I've here on the table this Norwegian Arctic field ration. Now, this particular menu is the chili stew vegetarian. Let me just about make that out there. So, as we know now, these uh, Norwegian Arctic field rations come in a very simplistic green plastic bag. They usually have a corner, little tear open strip in the corner. So, we can just give that a tug. Should open nicely. So, moving that to one side, let's see what this Norwegian field ration has inside. So, straight off the bat, I think this is some jerky. It looks like a jerky. We have a Poldermill Colombian freeze dried coffee. There is a disinfecting wet nap. We have some real chewing gum, peppermint. Here we have the mains itself. This is the chili stew vegetarian. So made by real. Everything here is made by Drytech and the real brand. So that's the chili stew. We have some Nutwalker peanuts, roasted and salted. There is a standard simplistic spoon. And we also have a energy drink with a taste of lemon. And last but not least, a little Ziploc bag for the rubbish or leftovers. So that is the contents of this Norwegian Arctic field ration, chili stew vegetarian. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And so, as you can see, I now have here on the tray this Norwegian Arctic field ration. Um, I did make a little mistake with the opening uh, on translation. These are not jerky, they are actually licorice candies, licorice sweets. I'm going to do away with the spoon. These are quite flimsy. Over the last couple of years, I have snapped a couple while stirring the mains. And I'm going to bring in, you know it, the good old trusty US MRE spoon. So, normally I'd like to start with the drinks, but because this is a freeze dried meal, it is going to take a little bit of preparation. Um, it does say add up to boiling water, wait eight minutes and enjoy. So, we need an eight minute wait. You fill up to the lines indicated on the side of the packet. So that's where I'm going to start. So I need to find the easy tear open strip there. Nice and easy to open. I'll just break the seal. Very large. Very impressive looking meal. I think this particular one, through there, it does say it's a 700 calorie. I don't know if you can make that out before I tip it all over the table. But 700 calories, a nice large meal. I'm just going to get some of those compressed lumps moving about. So this is a vegetarian chili stew. See very large chunky components there, and I'm going to bring in some boiling water and put it up to just over that line on the side of the bag. So they do take quite a lot of water, very well dehydrated, and just give that a bit of a stir around. Try and get our water down to the bottom. Try not to leave any in the corners. Just 
you do have to work with these there's a little bit of work involved not like the wet pouches where you just open them and eat there's a little bit of work involved with them but obviously Norwegian winters Arctic field ration a wet meal will just freeze into a solid block and you'd never get it thawed out with a little military style cook set so nice impressive looking meal there so we'll seal that and we give it approximately it's eight minutes that it's asking for while that's happening i think i'm going to move along around and carry on with the other items so this is the energy drink with a taste of lemon um, again these are meant to be mixed in the packet there is a fill line telling you where to fill i've done these before if you pour them straight into the glass they do tend to stick you lose quite a bit of the actual contents get left behind in the pouch they're very sticky can you see they're a very lumpy very sticky type of energy drink so I'm going to mix it in the pouch and then add to my glass without hopefully without spilling it everywhere just try and add the water to the line so that's somewhere near give that a good seal well sealed fold it over a couple of times because I don't fancy all of my table and we'll just give that a good shake to mix good mix like I say it's quite a lumpy powder quite a sticky powder and hopefully I should have all of those granules mixed in now I think that will require a little bit more water I don't think I quite put enough water in so a little bit more water there and I'm going to bring in a clean US spoon just to give that a bit of a mix so Still moving on round, next thing that might need a little bit of preparation is the Polder Mill Colombian coffee. Um, no whitener, no sugar, so it's just black coffee. And it is just a medium coloured, large granule, instant coffee. Bring back the hot water. And I'll give it about half a mug or thereabouts of water. Now I'm just going to reopen this pack and give it another bit of a distribution. Obviously it's not ready yet but from experience they do like two or three stirs. keep going take a look at the nut walker roasted and salted peanuts again seen a few times in a few European rations nicely vacuum sealed there was a nice hiss on opening that's always a good sound sign so a nice little selection of salted roasted peanuts again we're not going to need the whole pack just a couple for demonstration but as you can see there's a good sized pack of salted roasted peanuts then I'm going to have a look at where I made the mistake thinking this was jerky it is actually a licorice candy a licorice sweet so I think I'm going to need to bring in my trusty old friend and again as you can see it's quite a large quite a large pack I'm just going to take a couple to 
two, so they're hard, square candies. Large packet, just need a couple there just for demonstration. We also have the real peppermint gum, two little briquettes. Again, she'll only need one, she'll leave the other one there. And last but not least, we have the disinfecting wipe, which I think I'm going to use first. Just make sure my hands are clean. So this one does actually contain 70% ethanol. So it's a high alcohol content. These are actually like a surgical disinfecting wipes, the sort of thing they might use in hospitals and doctor surgeries. So it's very wet very very wet very heavily alcohol laden as you don't know if you can see my hands glistening very very alcohol laden it's got that strong oh alcohol ethanol smell i'm sure this would be great as well in the cold and in the wet of the norwegian forests to help get a fire going i should imagine one match on that and it will go whoosh so, but it is a good sterilising antiseptic wipe and that alcohol evaporates really quickly. So, while I'm waiting for the mains to rehydrate a little bit longer, just looking at my watch there, still needs another couple of minutes, I'm going to take a look at the coffee. So this is the Polder Mill coffee, black with no sugar. Mm. it's quite bitter personally I don't think these are an excellent coffee I've had them before they're an okay coffee flavoured drink they're bitter my opinion would benefit from a little bit of sugar and also a bit of milk but if you do like it black you'd recognise it as a a standard sort of instant coffee just for my taste, missing a little bit of whitener and sugar. We're going to have a look now at the lemon ice tonic drink powder. Mm. That's a nice flavoured drink powder. Not overly coloured. Not, <coughs> excuse me, not overly flavoured. Nice, gentle, refreshing, sweet isotonic powder there. A nice, enjoyable cold drink. I'm just going to have another look at this stew, vegetarian chili stew. That's sort of coming together now. I think that will be ready to pour into a bowl. Obviously you would eat it out of the pouch but for demonstration I have the bowl so I will use very large portion 700 calories just in this pouch there so that's the contents move that out of the way there's one or two little dry pieces in the corner so I'm just going to give that a mix and a couple more minutes that's why I have a look at the the nuts there I'm just going to pull the wet nap again so just while I get that another minute or so, we'll take a look at the roasted and salted Nutwalker peanuts. Nice large peanuts, you can see the salt. It's a regular style, good quality, nice and fresh. For me, I would like a slightly bit more salt, but that said, it is a good quality tasting roasted salted peanut. Now, I think this vegetarian chili stew should be ready. You can see lots of beans. I think that might be rice in there. Certainly, there is bell pepper, onion, so let's have a little taste. It's 
slightly chewy. You would almost believe there is meat in there. There is a chewy background substance. I think it must be the rice granules. It may be the vegetarian meat. So it does give the impression you're eating a meat chilli with ground beef. It is that good. There was a slight background kick. Very much like chilli con carne. Um, it's reconstituted nicely. The beans still have some texture. There was a little chilli kick in the background. Not overpowering. A lot of people I think would like some extra hot sauce. But for me, this is fine. Mm. Nicely rehydrated. A little chilli background kick. Reminiscent of a chilli con carne. If you didn't know it was vegetarian, you would swear blind. If there was meat in there, I'm finding it difficult to believe that that texture isn't ground beef. It's a good, tasty filling hearty meal I'm sure you could if you wanted to add some of the nuts straight in there to give it more crunch but to be honest the beans have enough texture that that's not really required but I'll try a couple anyway mm. certainly done no harm giving it more crunch but it's just such a large meal, it's not necessary. I'm enjoying this. This is going to become my lunch. I'm certainly going to enjoy finishing that. I'm just going to go back to refresh my palate. It's a nice refreshing drink. So, quick look. One of these licorice pillows, licorice squares, so they are just hard candies, licorice flavour. Very hard. I'm having difficulty biting them. In fact, I'm not going to risk biting them. There is a licorice flavour. If you like licorice, you'll find them enjoyable. If you don't, you won't. But so a hard candy, sort of thing you pop into your mouth, not chew, and you just suck something to give you a little bit of an energy boost. I don't know if you hear there, that one has just actually crunched slightly soft in the centre. Very slight softness to the centre. But if you like licorice, they are a nice, tasty, mouth refreshing candy move on to the gum simple briquettes uh, there is two I'm just going to try a piece of one of them there hard outer shell there is lots of peppermint oil certainly I've only got half a briquette and the peppermint oils are already cleansing my breath two briquettes after the chilli it's a very good Easy to chew, quite reasonably firm gum, but it's got a lot of peppermint oil. A very nice breath freshener, mouth cleanser. Excuse me, I just remove that. So, overall, yet again, another very pleasing Norwegian Arctic field ration. These generally do not disappoint, and this vegetarian option hasn't either. This particular one was the best before date of 2024. So lots of life left in it. So very nice, very tasty, very enjoyable. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.